Well, it's no secret that we love our pets here in Amarillo, and more and more animal rescue groups in the Panhandle are taking to social media to save the lives of pets that are in danger of being euthanized. ABC 7's Adria Iyer here spoke to several groups about the impact it's having. She joins us now with more. Adria. Stephen, summer is an especially dangerous time for pets that end up at the shelter. Due to overcrowding, kill rates tend to go up during this time. But Facebook has become an essential tool for a lot of rescues and shelters in saving the lives of cats and dogs. It was this post that garnered lots of attention on Facebook. A plea for help for this little chihuahua just hours away from being put down. This dog had been there for three days. Nobody had even looked at it or anything, but the family had signed over this dog. So, uh, so it was going to be on the next euthanization, uh, you know, that they had scheduled. Judy Glidewell runs the Facebook page Amarillo Animal Control 72 hours until death. When she learned about the dog's fate, she quickly took to her page to spread the word. By that afternoon, there, the, the post had reached well over 20,000 people. Um, we, I had tons and tons, I think there was something like 250 or 300 people remarking, saying, you know, how can we help, how can we get it? Glidewell credits social media for saving the dog's life. By, I think it was 3 o'clock that afternoon, I got notification that somebody had gone out there and adopted the dog. Amarillo Panhandle Humane Society Executive Director Gina McFall says she's seen the huge impact social media has made on countless animals' lives at the shelter. All of the, of the area pet places share it. Uh, Texas Panhandle Pet Savers, Lost Pets of Amarillo, all of them share it and, and do what they can to help us out. She says it's instrumental in finding pets foster homes as well. We get newborn kittens in all the time and need fosters to, to bottle feed and, you know, very specific requests and people respond very, very quickly to that. Glidewell says she will keep relying on the power of social media to keep as many animals as possible from being put down. You know, social media can do so much damage in situations, but then at the same token, they can do so much good. And in this case, with, with the animals pulling them, uh, saving them, transporting them, this is all possible with social media. And for links to the various animal rescue social media pages, visit our website, abc7amarillo.com. Reporting from the Kennedy Broadcast Center, Adria Arahita, ABC 7 News.